Hi everybody, welcome to City and County Credit Union's October Tip Tuesday. Can you believe that it is fall? I know, it's crazy, three months into a new year. But if you know me, fall is my favorite time of year because truly my favorite activity is sitting out on my porch, a cup of coffee in hand with a good book. So that's why today I'm really excited to be talking to Little Free Library about these shelves that you probably have seen everywhere in your community but just don't know a lot about. So come with me, I'm gonna introduce you to Sharon from Little Free Library. Hi everybody, I am so excited to introduce you to Sharon from Little Free Library. This is so fitting, our color is Innovative Pink and she brought with us a rose colored Little Free Library and so we're really excited to learn more. And I'd love just to get started with, tell us about Little Free Library, what are you about? Tell us the details. All right, well, I started at Little Free Library two years ago and everyone says to me, oh my God, I love Little Free Library. I had no idea that you guys are an organization and that you're a not-for-profit. Mm -hmm. So Little Free Library, our mission is all about building community, about inspiring reading, and expanding access to books. So I always say, my name is Sharon. <laughs> I am addicted to books. Yes. Not everyone needs to be a geeky reader like I am, but everybody needs to be able to read no matter what you do in life, mm -hmm. right? So I get really excited about what we do. Um, so our Little Free Library organization, we sell Little Free Libraries. There are actually 150,000 little free libraries. Wow. We are in all 50 states. We are in 115 countries. And we are on all seven continents. And about half of those little free libraries, people build their own. And then you register them. You get a charter sign with a unique number. And about half of them are purchased from us. So there are a lot of different ways to have a little free library. If you follow us on Instagram, mm -hmm. you get to see all the pictures and all the really cool little free libraries. Um, this particular little free library is a reading color custom panel library. So our retail sales, our earned revenue, actually funds our philanthropic work, really. Our strategic plan is to put little free libraries in book deserts, in areas mm -hmm. where book access is a problem. And we do that through, we have an impact library program, and you can actually go online and you can apply to get a free little free library. Um, I get to review applications every month. Last year in 2022, we were able to grant 22% wow. of the applications that That's we incredible. received. So there's a lot of need. You know, I go back to the everybody needs to be able to read. Access to books is a key component on being able to read. And so little free libraries open 24 seven. Everybody <laughs> can take a book, share a book. It's really great. Um, this is a reading color little free library. So reading color is really focused on sharing diverse books. So everybody can take the pledge to read and share diverse books, go to our website. Um, and then, you know, placing little free libraries in book deserts filled with books that represent the communities that they're in. I was really surprised when I came to work for a little free library that less than 25% of children's books feature characters of color. So, yeah, really, sorry, I'm going to talk too much. So. No, no, and I think this is so great because it, you know, at City and County Credit Union, we have a mission of empowering our community to do more. And that goes in every area of life we touch. And we just had the same conversation because we have a money on the bookshelf program within our branches where <laughs> we want kids to read about money and then we're looking at like are they accessible and you know so the, the program that you guys have is really extraordinary because it brings in so many important topics and mm -hmm. let's say for example I am a Joe Schmo on the street mm -hmm. and I see one of these little library huts if you will because that's mm -hmm. what I when I didn't know who you were that's what I would call them is a little <laughs> library hut and what do I do I want to I want a book I want to donate a book do I what do I do? It's really easy. Um, if you see a little free library when you're walking down the street, take a book, share a book. So you open the little free library and you go, oh, look at all these fabulous <laughs> books in here. And you take one. Or if you're like me, I have lots of books that when I get finished with them, I open the little free library and I put them inside. So I do a lot more sharing of books than taking of books. Um, and if you don't know where a little free library is, we have a mobile app you can download on your phone. And you can type in your zip code and you can find all the little free libraries near you. Uh, there's a guest book you can sign in. Um, little free library stewards will be able to soon 
uh, because we love technology, um, be able to put requests. Like, I have books, I need books, um, but wow. to interact that way is a really easy way to do it. Like if you happen to be on vacation, you're like, oh, you know what, I finished my book and I need a new book before I get on the airplane. You can take the book you finished, put it in a little free library, get a new book. Um, but really, you know, our mission with book deserts is, you know, there are a lot of places where they don't have books. Mm -hmm. And so being able to have those resources and, you know, bringing the books and filling the libraries with books. Um, there are a lot of people that sort of adopt little free libraries. So, you know, you can host a book drive and it can be your neighborhood, it can be your work, it can be your church, it can be anyone. And then you take the little free library map and you find where you're going and you drop off the books. You can take a picture, post it on social media. You can have a lot of fun with it. It's so easy and I, you know, it's funny because I would carry around books and I would give them out. I would actually bring them into the office and I'd say, okay, here's like the 20 books that I read and, you know, take what you want. And then I'd have some left over and, and then I would carry them in my car and I would feel really intimidated. Like if I was just going to donate a book, I had to do like something serious. Nope. And the fact that it's so easy, you don't have to sign in. Um, but I will say I took a book out this last time I visited my local little free library and there was a log of people who signed their names on the cover of who, who has read it. Mm -hmm. And that to me alone just felt the community in one, in one simple open of the book. I knew that this book has traveled around, it's made an impact, and it was a good read. And that matters to me as a reader and as somebody who is in our community. Yep. A lot of people put notes in the books, though, you know, why yeah. this book was important, why they love to read. It's really awesome. And it really is about building community. We do an annual steward survey. Um, the stewards are the volunteers. You can think of them as the little free librarians that take care of the little free libraries. And 96% of the stewards say that their community is a friendlier place. I think it's 76 percent, don't quote me on the numbers, I'm not a numbers <laughs> person, um, say that they've met more neighbors because of their little free library. So it really does bring everyone together mm -hmm. and especially like during the pandemic because you know schools yeah. were closed, libraries were closed, little free libraries open 24 7 and a lot mm -hmm. of people started sharing things like toilet paper and hand sanitizer and food in their little free library. So they are very much about community. I love that. And so if I want to bring a little free library to my community, whether it is my home or it's a community spot or a business spot, what do I do? Well, there are a lot of different ways to do it. Um, you can build your own little free library if you're very creative and very handy. And then all you have to do is go online. Um, this little charter sign right here, they all have unique charter numbers. Um, you can just purchase the charter sign to affix to your little free library, or you can go to our website. There are a lot of different options you can purchase a little free library. Um, we have fully assembled libraries. We also have library kits. So if you want to do a build event, and it could just be your family, um, two people can assemble a little free library. If you want to do it like a team building event yeah. for your company or your church, four to six people for a library, um, and you can assemble the little free library, and you know it's a lot of fun. It really is. I love the kits and I am not handy so I would not be one to say like I'm just gonna make my own. That is not for me but I love a good kit. I love directions and I love the impact you guys bring and with the app do I have to create an account? Is it just everybody can use it? So with the app you don't have to create an account. You can just put in the zip code and find the libraries. If you would like to create an account you can because there are a lot of people that like to you know, they have their favorite libraries yes. and they make a list of favorites and they have a route that they go to with oh, all of their goodness. books. Um, so you really, there's a lot of flexibility on how you do that. You don't have to have an account. Um, when you register the library, um, you can put it on the map. You don't have to. It could be anonymous, but you know, really the whole idea is taking and sharing of books. So I encourage everyone to, you know, register their libraries, put them on the map, and that way people can find you and bring books. Well, as we wrap up here, I mean, there's so many great inspiring just to get out and read and join community um, but I know just from talking to you that you have other programs and other initiatives uh, at Little Free Library so what are some other things you're working on? So we have I mentioned we have the Impact Library program so that really is very much about putting libraries in under resourced communities you can apply online for that um, under that sort of umbrella we have the Reading Color program and that actually started here in the Twin Cities after George Floyd was murdered. We said, Excellent. how do we address what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. um, because everybody needs to see themselves in the pages of a book, and we need to see people that don't look like ourselves in the pages of a book. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, reading color, and then we have also an indigenous library program that falls under that, so that's really focused on putting little free libraries in tribal lands. 
So those are really kind of the three big initiatives. Um, we have an action book club also, so if you want to combine reading books with volunteering, you can find more information about Action Book Club on our website. Uh, but really, it's it's a gap about getting books, more books, more books, more books, yeah. out into the community um, and building that sense of community. And my grandmother used to say, many hands make light work. So yeah. really, like bringing everyone together around the little free library, if it's the steward, if it's the, you know, the sponsor who paid for the library, if it's a group that's gonna, you know, maintain the book supply and donate books, you know, there's a lot of ways to get involved. You gave me goosebumps because <laughs> I, you know, I think the biggest thing our community can do all together is just to inspire change. And even if it's bringing a book to somebody who didn't have access to it or, you know, seeing yourself in a book, that's so important. And so for any updates, where do I go to to find any Thing about Little Free Library. So you can find us online, www. Do I have to say that anymore? It makes me feel like uh, it's littlefreelibrary.org. And there's all kinds of information, everything you want to know about starting a Little Free Library, everything you want to know about all our programs, everything you want to know about where to find a Little Free Library. Um, we do have a digital event series called Unbound, and all of those videos are linked on our website as well if you want to check out how to start a Little Free Library, if you want to see, there are a lot of different topics. Um, the one that I really love is Chapter 4. Um, it has stewards, different stewards as a panel. Get your Kleenex out because really oh. it's very inspiring. Well, I just can't thank you enough for being here, Sharon. Oh. I can just feel your passion for this program. <laughs> and the second we walked in, I could feel it. And so we are going to give everybody a link in the description to Little Free Library so you yourself can follow along as well. And we'll make sure to tag them in the video so you can just link your social media accounts to stay up to date. But with that, everybody, that was another Tip Tuesday, and we will see you in November.